All right, friends, let's do this. I am specifically sourcing for Amazon at Burlington. I was very excited about this trip because we don't have a ton of Burlington coat factories in Los Angeles, so I had to kind of journey to get here. And I was hoping to find a bunch of inventory. Stick around to the end to hear my thoughts. So I started in their very overwhelming beauty section. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I found this store to be very overwhelming, more so than Marshall's, TJ Maxx. I mean, they just have so much stuff. And when you're scanning for Amazon, it can be a lot. I mean, you could literally spend like a whole day in this store just scanning a bunch of stuff. I did quickly realize that I think a lot of merchandise, I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, that sold at Burlington is made specifically for Burlington because a ton of the stuff I was scanning doesn't even show up in um, Amazon's inventory. I couldn't find comps for it. Some of the stuff, obviously, like I just showed an Aldo purse, there's some Nine West stuff, some other name brand things, but like a lot of Kenzie stuff I think is made to be sold directly here. I could be wrong. You know Kenzie sold at other stores. You can find it everywhere, but I don't know. It was just really discouraging, you guys, in the beginning. I started in the beauty section. I moved on to their accessories. They have earrings. They have watches. They, I mean, I don't think I realized <laughs> that Burlington is literally like five different stores in one. It's wild. Um, and I did not know they sold Betsy Johnson. Maybe that's why I cannot resell Betsy Johnson to save my life. I don't know if you saw a glimpse of my cart there, but at this point, I had been in the store for about 30 minutes and I didn't pick up a single thing. I got frustrated in the beauty section. You guys know I love selling beauty products on Amazon, but a lot of the stuff just was not coming up. Um, I did scan a lot of this jewelry. I had no idea Nanette Lepore was also sold here. I remember, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I remember in my clubbing days, uh, we used to like, that used to be the brand that was like super expensive. Like the dresses, you know, when you're in college, they're like two, uh, two to 300 bucks back then. I think they've gone down in price, but you saw that was really affordably priced. I mean, they even have Juicy Couture. I just, I don't think I realized how many different brands were sold at Burlington. But again, uh, you know how there's some brands that make things specifically for TJ Maxx and Marshalls? I kind of get that vibe here. You know what I mean? Kendall and Kylie. Um, I have sold some Kendall and Kylie pieces that I picked up at the thrift on Dollar Day. Um, and I've sold them on eBay. But I have not done retail arbitrage and I probably wouldn't do that. Look at this, you guys. It is literally a whole beauty store inside of another department store. I don't know, let me know if Burlington is like this where you live, but this is like the biggest Burlington I have ever seen, ever, I think. It's just a big store. So I scanned a bunch of this stuff. I had no luck in the beauty section, friends. A bunch of like one-off brands, random things. Um, a lot of stuff that did actually populate in Amazon was actually cheaper on Amazon than Burlington, which I thought was surprising because it's surprising because Burlington's pretty affordable on um, most things, especially beauty stuff. Great deal if you're shopping for yourself. Embarrassing moment here. This is what I have to do to get a thumbnail, you guys. I literally have to find an empty aisle, put my phone on self timer and try to get a shot. It's a mess, but we do what we have to do to get the YouTube thumbnail. It's really embarrassing, but I've gotten used to it. Moving on, I moved on to the shoe section, and this is when I started to score. Um, they do have some name brand shoes, but I really scored tip for me to you in the children's uh, shoe section. They have a bunch of name brand uh, toddlers, little kids shoes. Um, I've found actually a bunch of stuff to sell on eBay and Poshmark and Amazon, which uh, I was really excited about. So didn't score anything in like the women's or men's section. Uh, again, I was scanning a bunch of things for Amazon, looking up comps on eBay. Uh, the comps just weren't there, like those Nautica red sneakers, I think sold for 15 bucks on, on uh, eBay. So I passed, but I did score and I got about 10 pairs of kids shoes. I will say if you have children, Burlington is a great place to like get clothes, shoes. They have some really, really good deals. Um, look at this price, these prices on Calvin Klein jeans. I'm like, what? Again, probably great if you're shopping for yourself. For reselling, absolutely not. Um, I did scan some to see what they were selling for on Amazon. I did look up comps. I mean, 
new Calvin Klein jeans on eBay are selling brand new for like 20, 25 bucks. So no go here. Uh, but I did, I went through the entire jean section just cause like I said, I haven't been in a Burlington in years and I was just curious to see what they had, what brands they had, comps and, uh, yeah, I picked up no jeans. I really scored in this store in the food section and in the children's shoe section. Everything else was a bust for me. Even the toy section was not that great. Um, I did find some things in the children's clothes section that I could have picked up, but the profit, I was only going to make about like five, some of them like five to seven bucks. So I passed. So here's the children's shoe section that I was mentioning. Look at all these cute shoes, adorable stuff. I did pick up some shoes for Zane. Um, so you see they had some of the shoes priced from like 15. I think the highest I saw was 35. But a lot of the shoes that I picked up, I'm expecting to make anywhere from like 20 to $40 profit. So I really scored in the children's shoe. Sh sh I can't say it very fast. The children's shoe section. Try saying that fast. <laughs> five times. I'm still eating over my sinus infection, you guys. Um, so yeah, that's where I scored here. It was tough. Uh, this is definitely not one of my favorite stores to source in. Just being honest, like I've mentioned many times, it's a bit overwhelming, especially if you're an Amazon seller. I mean, to scan the amount of stuff that they have, it's just too much. So I don't know if you shop at Burlington frequently and you know like what areas to hit up it can be a little less overwhelming I guess I don't know it's just because I like I said I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it I don't shop here often so I tried to scan as much as possible moved on to the grocery check <laughs> you guys I think I'm starting to develop like an adult lisp I have I really struggle with s sounds so yeah I might need I'm not joking I'm serious I might need to like seek out some speech help because I really struggle so anyways random thoughts with Nikki I ended up scoring what I was trying to say seasonings that I am going to be selling on Amazon I picked up about 20 seasonings they were priced anywhere from three to ten dollars and net profit on each of those I'm expecting about 10 to 12 bucks so that was a score but that was literally after being in this store for close to three and a half hours you guys I was so frustrated that I didn't even film an outro for this video I did not talk to the camera one single time because I was just so frustrated with this store I just it, it was just too much. You have to really be 100% honest. You have to be in the right state of mind to go sourcing for Amazon. I mean, sometimes you're just not going to find anything. Sometimes you're going to have to scan hundreds of items just to find a couple of things to sell. So stores like this, when you're just really not in the mood to be scanning a thousand items is not great. I did not find a single thing in the toy section and I probably spent about an hour scanning. I'm not kidding. Like, I don't know, a hundred toys. So that's just the reality of Amazon selling. I'm expecting on this trip to make a net profit of $189, which is not my best considering I was in there for three and a half hours, but it ain't bad, friends. If you divide that, let me get my calculator, 189. Let's just do four hours because drive time, that's $47 an hour. Not bad, but it was rough. So that's the reality. I did scan these little doggy pads, no profit to be made. So it ended up being a decent trip, but I just wanted to share. I thought about not posting this video, honestly, you guys, because it was rough, but this is just the reality of reselling. And I always tell you, I share the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload multiple times a week. We are so close to 10K subbies. I love you. And I'll probably see you tomorrow with another video. Give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.